Hey guys, me again. So I've started building the frame for what will become the bed. It's very basic. This is just obviously the back support. And the plan is that will stay in place. The plan is to then put the plywood board across the top. I've left, I don't know if you can see, I've left a slight difference in height between this and the top of the tank to account for the, the plywood. But the plan is to have it on like a, kind of like a runner basically, so that when it's not being used as a bed, I don't have to take it out all the time. I can just slide it up and over the top of the tank instead of all this access here for um, all my work gear. That's the plan anyway. I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do that yet, but yeah, so um, it's just a very basic frame. Um, it's screwed into the ply lining on the side here. I haven't screwed it into the floor. I screwed into the ply lining there. And then obviously screwed in across the top and screwed at an angle down through the bottom piece and into the plywood to get into the ply lining again. Um, it looks squiffy. The frame itself is straight. The tank is squiffy, which I didn't realise until now. Uh, it's been like this for nearly two years. But I figured out it's because if you look at the bulkhead, there's actually the bulkhead comes back further behind the driver's seat to give more leg room to the driver. And so as a result of that, when I put the tank in, I just sort of like pushed it in, tightened the ratchet straps down, it's kind of pulled it squiffy. So the frame itself is square, but it looks out because the tank is out. So uh, yeah, I'm going to put a middle support in there and then try and build the rest of it on some sort of sliding mechanism. Okay, so I've built a second frame, uh, which will go here. And um, that will be effectively the front of the bed. Um, what was I going to say? I've got a terrible memory. Oh yeah, I've got batten here, which I'm gonna put on the inner edges. Down there, and across there, and across there, because this is gonna have a pallet wood front to it. I don't know which way I'm gonna run the pallets, actually, whether it be horizontally or vertically. Um, but it's gonna have a pallet front to it, which will I'll be able to remove, and there'll be storage under there then for like our um, camp stove, chiller box, spare clothes, all that malarkey. And because I'm entering the van into the show and shine, there'll be all the detail and stuff under there as well. Uh, sort of, which will be obviously in here. So yeah, um, I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna do a runner system because it will work this side, but not that side because there's no gap down the side of the tank. So I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, what I think I might do is, instead of having legs running down there, because obviously a leg isn't gonna fit down the side of the tank down there, I think what I might do is, um, is just have it so that the board rests on there, is fixed to the front piece that's going along here. And then um, when I'm using it, just have some way of fixing it into the floor um, I'm just thinking sort of as a temporary fix for now, just putting some screws only so far down into the floor so that the head's sticking out by five, six mil. And then uh, countersinking the bottom beam of that so that I pull it out and drop it down onto the, the heads of the screws and that sort of locks it in place. And then to put the bed away, I just sort of lift and push it forwards. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really figured out how I'm gonna get around that. These are gonna have to come out. These um, drawers, not drawers, uh, storage bins, they're gonna have to be moved because they hang over the edge ever so slightly. So they're gonna have to come off. But I need them in there currently because I've still got two weeks left before the, the VW show. Um, so I've still got a couple of weeks worth of work to do. Thankfully I've got a quiet week, so I don't need like 
uh, my gutter vacuum system and all that sort of stuff because that's a big wet and dry vacuum that literally <laughs> takes up half of this space. Oh, excuse me, sneezing. Not COVID, honestly. <laughs> um, so yeah, thankfully I don't need that. Um, I've got a job booked in, but it's for the week after we come back from the show, so that's good. I've had to move the hose reel because that was literally... You can just sort of make out the holes in the floor. That was literally where the framework is going, so that's going to have to be moved. Um, but to be honest, I think I mounted it too far back anyway, because whenever I reel it in, I end up having to sort of like kneel halfway into the van and wind it. So that wasn't really working anyway, so I'll move that forwards. Should save my back and my, my arms a little bit. So yeah, that's kind of the progress so far. I'll update when we've done a bit more. Okay, so now I've got the top of the bed on. It's nice and solid. Um, and yeah, this is all screwed along here. I it, 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 I did cut it squiffy there. <laughs> Stupidly, as I was marking it up, I lent on this. I forgot that it's only fixed in on that side. So I lent on it as I was marking it and it knocked it back. So I marked it squiff and I thought that it must be squiff because the tank is squiff. So I cut it anyway, should have checked, um, but I cut it squiff. But yeah, so that bit there's just sort of for aesthetics, just because it was bugging me that there was a gap. But um, yeah, I digress anyway. Um, it's not fixed to there because the plan is, as I said earlier, uh, if I just remove this screw. Uh, has that come out? Not all the way. Hang on, bear with me. There we go. The plan is to have it on a runner, so I can just do that. And I mean, if there wasn't all this rubbish here, it would it would slide back. Um, or would it? Oh, hang on, it's catching on there. But anyway, I might just have to take a little notch out of that, but that's by the by. The plan is for it to slide up and onto the top of the tank. And then if you want to use it as a bed, slide it down. Jobs are good. I'm going to put a little noggin of 4x2 up on the underside so that when we're getting in and out, uh, it doesn't rock back and forth. But I'll put it in the middle so that it lines up with the baffle in the tank but there's a gap so I put a thin bit of 4x2 I've just checked and 4x2 fits in there lovely so I just put a little slither of 4x2 there in the middle to stop it from rocking back and forth when we're getting it in and out of the, the back of the van but also so that when I lift it up to put it on the top of the tank the 4x2 will slot in between the baffle there also stop it from rocking about and getting damaged and what have you. So that's the progress I've made so far. I've moved the um, plastic bins, I've moved them. I don't really know where I'm going to put them to be honest. Might have to come up with a, another solution for storing my, uh, my small bottles of chemicals. Maybe mount them on the walls or something, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to have a think about that one. But that's basic. That's the basic idea of the bed. Done there. Uh, I haven't attempted to climb on it yet, but I can. I can literally put my weight on it, and it doesn't budge. So that's good. Um, as I say, the front of this is going to be cladded with pallets. I think I'm going to run them horizontally and just have some little, um, so that it fits inside here, inside the return, sort of flush with the edge there. And then just have some of those um, twist, turn things to lock them in place. And uh, yeah, that'll be the front. I'm not gonna bother filling the sides in or anything. It's not really gonna be seen. Plus if I fill the sides in, it won't slide over the tank anyway. So yeah getting there okay so uh, pretty much finished 
just got a little bit of a, a little sort of extension over the one side of a uh, flat side <laughs> um, to, because I'm gonna have to sleep diagonally because I'm so tall um, so I've got to put an extension piece which is this board here I'm gonna have to put that uh, sort of bridge the gap from the tank to the wall so uh, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to do that yet. I know I've got to put a bit of batten on the ply lining. Um, but I want to get as even a as even of a sleeping surface as I can possibly get. So I don't really want the board coming over onto the top of the tank. So I think what I'll probably do is build some sort of little frame that I can tuck down the side. Uh, to, to sort of bridge the gap and then batten on the... Um, on the ply line in and then it should be a nice sort of level thing there that, so that I can sleep diagonally that way and then oops, sorry my camera skills are terrible so I can sleep diagonally this way and um, my daughter can sleep next to me there so yeah um, finished the front I think it looks quite nice Quite pleased with that. It wasn't exactly how I wanted to do it. I, I wanted to get some metal fasteners, but um, I figured instead of wasting money on bits when I've got some scrap wood lying around, I may as well make use of it. So I've, I've made that. I'm quite happy with that. All you do is turn that down, turn that down, and hey presto, off it comes. So yeah, not quite as easy to go back in again. Um, yeah, it's not quite as easy to put back in as it is to take out, but it's pretty solid, you know. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's not a perfect fit by any means, you know, these little knobbly bits poking out here and there. And I cut that squiffy. But once we've got like camping foam mats on there and I'm thinking of putting um, a thick duvet down on top of that then as well because obviously this is quite high because of the tank being quite high it sort of encroaches on your ceiling space so I don't want to put like an air mattress in there or anything because I take it up even higher I mean we've got less head space so I think maybe some camping foam mats on first and then a thick duvet some nice cushions and stuff. Um, I've got to make. Obviously, I can't sleep on that because it sticks up too much. If I take it off, it's almost flush. There's a bit of a, a thing there, a bit of a, a, a rise, but it's almost flush. So um, the plan is to make. Of course it would help if I tightened it up, wouldn't it? The plan is to make a circular lid for it out of ply to go on there just for when we're sleeping in it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Not bad for three hours work. Well, I wasn't even that actually thinking about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. So, you know, honest truth. <laughs> Uh, yeah I'm gonna leave it there guys for now but if you're liking the content that I'm putting up give us a thumbs up give us a like comment with uh, you know constructive criticism and what have you and um, subscribe catch you later